I would just like to add, when we first started planning this and we were walking these streets, um, and the street was open, cars were going 35, 40 miles an hour, splashing rain puddles on us. And uh, if you look today, um, there's not a lot of congestion. We didn't create a lot of traffic, but we did slow things down. We made it friendly for cars and for people, so uh, it can work. Um, second, I'd like to introduce uh, Theron Warlick with Planet Tulsa to say a few words. Thank you very much. My name is Theron Warlick, and I'm, I'm, uh, the, I'm one of the lead planners for Planet Tulsa, which is a citywide planning effort. We have our first new plan in 30 years. Uh, incidentally, I'm also the planner for this neighborhood, for the Pearl District, and have been for 11 years. And uh, one of the things I wanted to talk about, and it's, it's been 11 great years, and we're, we're still rolling. We've still got great things in the future. Uh, what I really wanted to talk about um, was, though, about our entire city and about our city of neighborhoods throughout the city. Um, this neighborhood, the Pearl District, uh, if you didn't know that, it's named the Pearl District because this used to be called Pearl Street at one point. So, um, The Pearl District has been in decline since the 1960s. And for some of us, I think, for some, for some of us who are city lovers, the reasons for that aren't even worth going into. But it has been in de decline for a very long time. And what does that mean to the city? What does that mean to the city? Um, this city really depends on stability throughout. Every part of it needs to be stable and growing. To see a part of it in decline is actually not just not just bad for the residents around here, it's actually bad for the city's bottom line. We have to figure out ways to help all neighborhoods prosper and grow. And, the, and what we have learned in the Pearl District over the last decade is the, the best way to do this is to go straight to the neighborhood themselves and say, what do you want to see in your future here. And, and the, what we learn from this is when you engage neighbors and let them define their own future, they will stick with them. We have a plan, it's an adopted plan, it's been on the books for years now. There are many, many projects involved with it. It's very exciting. I'll be talking about all the gory details across the street here all day long, so I won't get into them now. But this plan is happening, and the reason it's happening, the reason that it's getting funded, the reason that things are happening is because of the Pearl District folks themselves. So bottom line here is every neighborhood in Tulsa, even the struggling neighborhoods, can and should prosper. We believe the way to do that is we'll, we, the city can help partner with you in that effort. We need you to get together to have a bold and, and exciting vision for your future and then work with us to get some plans on the books and we'll take it from there. So. Thank you very much, and, and if, um, I guess who's next? And I want to introduce you to Jamie Jamison. He's one of the guys from the Pearl District. In fact, you can meet a bunch, a bunch of other folks from the Pearl District over here.